Thomas Rhett, who sings country music, Katy Perry, who sells food delivery services, and where we started. Coming up later, we've got Dermot Kennedy. He's multi-skilling today as well, because he's got the album of the week. We'll be playing a track from that. It's called Sonder, and he's choosing the tracks of his years. Uh, he says Sonder, by the way, is the realisation that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own. That's me. Radio 2, BBC Sounds, Smart Speaker, 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 11 o'clock. This is Justine Green. Nurses in England, Wales and Northern Ireland are set for their biggest walkout in the NHS's history. The Royal College of Nursing has announced strikes on the 15th and the 20th of December in a dispute about pay. The government says the union's demand for a 19% increase is unreasonable. Only routine services should be affected. The head of the East Suffolk and North Essex NHS Trust, Nick Hume, says they're prepared for the strikes. We've been very careful to make sure that we can protect those emergency services. Going through all of our services with our nursing staff and with the unions to identify those areas that that obviously they're the obvious ones in terms of the A&E departments and the paediatric A&E, emergency theatres, emergency surgery. The government says it wants to make the sharing of manipulated pornographic images online without consent a crime in England and Wales. These so-called deep fake pictures involve a person's face being put on someone else's body. The Justice Secretary Dominic Raab says his aim is to close loopholes in the law. Campaigners claim the police are failing to investigate complaints about stalking and support victims. The National Stalking Consortium says only 5% of cases in England and Wales result in someone being charged. They've launched a super complaint highlighting trends in the way forces approach stalking. This woman was targeted for nearly nine years. Her words are voiced by a producer. I would say that a large majority of the time, the police caused re-traumatising of what I was going through. And that only amplified it. Because if you imagine as a victim, all you want to achieve is safety and security and a bit of certainty. I felt I had no recourse, nobody to turn to. I was absolutely lost in a black hole. Experts are predicting a quieter Black Friday sales rush this year because of the rising cost of living. They say overall sales and profits will be lower than last year, despite more people heading to the high street. This is the first festive season without Covid rules for three years. In football, people in Wales are hoping for a win with their team currently playing Iran in the second match of the World Cup. In, die, three, go! That was the sound of pupils at Welsh star Nico Williams' old school in Wrexham. The match is goalless at half-time. England will play the USA at 7 o'clock this evening. A win would secure them a place in the knockout stages. A five-year-old boy in Australia has survived being bitten and dragged into a swimming pool by a python. Bo Blake was saved by his grandfather who managed to pull him and the snake out of the water. Bo Blake's father, Ben, said it was an ordeal, but his son was doing well and in good spirits. BBC News, it's three minutes past eleven. Listen live on the BBC Sounds app. Sun on 